Swan guys, this is Wagga Turbo and welcome back to the finale of my TM career mode. Scootria Sapari is coming to an end. The first season is coming to an end. And yeah, we have saved all the parts for the next season. Of course, next season, I've already done a few recordings and added a few mods to it. That's the only spoiler I'm going to give you guys. But... It's going to be an amazing, amazing season 2 and obviously we have a lot of things for this finale and the final part of our first season as well because one, it's going to be a proper battle between Leckler and Max Verstappen. It's going to be a battle for the WCC as well. So whoever comes on top is going to win the WDC and Ferrari needs a miracle for winning the World Constructors Championship. But yeah, it's super close between Leckler and Verstappen, so it's going to be extremely, you know, interesting to see who is going to win this World Driver Championship and can Ferrari somehow miraculously get some points more than Red Bull, which is looking very hard because both the Red Bulls have been pretty strong throughout the season. Whereas Carlos Sainz hasn't been that consistent but it's not completely his fault, obviously. There's a lot of engine issues and whatnot that's happened with him, just like real life. But yeah, let's get into this final episode of Scooter Sapari, My Team Career Mode. And let's see who comes out on top. And of course, we even have our own battle right now in Quali. We're coming 12th, going into the last and final corner of our final qualifying lap. And we bogged down to I think that is 13th not too bad honestly I didn't really expect to come 13th with this kind of a car but the margins are very very close now we could see that in the last race and we can see it even now Guan Yu Zhou just two thousandths of a second faster than us and we are only one thousandth faster than Sebastian Vettel Jehan though is I think around 4 tenths behind us so a lot of things you know a lot of catch up to do over there but it is super super close between it is the three of us let's try and take this form into the finale the final race and let's see how we do it before we begin let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race a fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Ocon, Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas, Kumar, Vettel, Russell. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Mick Schumacher and Sergio Perez. Sonoda, Fernando Alonso, Max Verstappen and Norris. They've taken a grid penalty. Gasly, Daruvula, Daniel Ricciardo and Kevin Magnussen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Stroll, Latifi, Albon, and Guan Yu Zhou. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, so for the one last time, let's just choose a one-stop strategy, do the formation lap, and you can see that we have been promoted to P6. No idea how this happened, but yeah, a lot of penalties and the major thing, if you guys haven't seen yet, is that both the Red Bulls have penalties. In the final race, they're not even close to the Ferraris, but yeah, they don't really need it for the world's uh, constructors, but they still need it for the Drivers' Championship. Verstappen and Leclerc only three points apart, Verstappen in the lead obviously, and Leclerc is starting on pole, whereas Verstappen is all the way down and I think 11th if I'm not wrong. So getting a purple, as usual, we're going to focus on our race for now and you know look at the other guys a bit later on. But yeah, got a perfect setup over here. Let's try and get Bottas off the start. Of course, our starts are not really the best. So let's try and just stay in sixth at least. And it's five red lights for Abu Dhabi. It's lights out and away we go. And we get a pretty decent start, not going to lie. And Vettel has actually already overtaken us and getting an amazing start. Down the inside goes Perez, but he gets like bogged down by a few positions. Russell right behind. Schumacher is also right behind. All of these guys are way, way quicker than us. Vettel though has somewhat similar pace so I'm going to try and use 
ERS to just stay in front of Russell and make a dive down the inside of Vettel and while Bottas is making a dive on Ocon so it's like a two in one move in just one turn what a perfect finale start this has been we lost a position to Vettel at start but we've gained two and we are in fifth so overall we've gained one position which is amazing we're gonna try and keep it here obviously Bottas was uh, pretty close to our pace I'm pretty sure so we're gonna try and just keep with him if we can I know that we have the pace in this car to at least stay behind the Alfa Romeo of course uh, the likes of Russell and everyone is going to take, overtake us but in front Leclerc is third we get touched from the back by Ocon I have no idea what happened outrageous behavior here by Ocon so I try and you know just repay the favor barge him slightly just try to tie out a contact and make the move stick he did the same thing to us so it's just you know fair uh, racing over there because he did to us we do it back to him we are fair and square now but yeah, Bottas has a 1.3 second lead now. We gotta try and catch it up, get back in that one second window, and hope like hell that Russell and Ocon behind us don't overtake us. Skipping to lap three now, and we can already see that Russell is super super close and goes for a dive down the inside. We're gonna stick it down the inside for the next turn and try and just stay in front of Russell. Of course, Russell is in that Mercedes, and while I'm talking about that, we get a VSC. We get a virtual safety gun. What's happened? And we see Verstappen's POV. Oh no, this is not good. This is not at all good. Of course, Verstappen is trying to go for the WDC right here. He is making a few <laughs> positions and Bear is actually losing a win on Schumacher in front. And what is Verstappen doing? Verstappen goes in the back of Perez, and I am pretty sure he has wing damage right here. Both of them are going into the pits. It's going to be a double stack for Red Bull and that's not going to be good for their hopes for the WCC even. If they don't get points now, they are pretty much out of the WCC because it's a 1-2 for Ferrari. I think it's Sainz to Leclerc and oh my god, the scenes in the finale of our My Team career mode. They needed a miracle and I think this is what they needed. They needed contact between Perez and Verstappen. Both of them had to pit. Perez, of course, you know, had to pit and he's going to lose more time. And yeah, we are just chilling in fifth right in front of Russell gonna try and just you know keep Russell at bay as much as possible but what is going on in this finale Verstappen and Perez literally had it in the bag all they had to do was get points and they would have won the WCC but right now it's not looking too good and while I'm talking about that I just let Russell through here break slightly I actually let go of the throttle slightly so that I get DRS on this main straight and we can get Russell back using a bit of ERS and DRS of course and you can just see how slow our car is even with the help of DRS we are not going faster than a Mercedes of Russell but yeah going around the outside and uh, which turns into the inside obviously for the next turn we make the move stick in front of Russell now let's try and just keep him there and Concentrate on the Ferrari battle. Ferrari has a chance now to win the uh, constructors unless they mess up just like, you know, in real life with their strategy. But yeah, we are under pressure with Russell yet again. Lap 7 now. We do have a DRS off of Bottas though. So I'm going to use a bit of DRS. Obviously, we have DRS off of Bottas, but you can see how much pace, how much overspeed Russell has. And Russell goes down the inside, almost such as Bottas over here almost a mirror move of what happened between Perez, the Haas in front, which I think was Schumacher and was Stappen. But thankfully, I went slightly wide, avoided the, any contact because simulation damage will just mean even the slightest contacts and you're done for. Russell trying to go down the inside though and Bottas is just chilling in front. He knows that he has a straight line speed and for some reason, we just don't have that straight line speed that we need going into the first and second sectors right behind Bottas we are there for like two three laps but the DRS is not really helping us and Russell trying to go down the inside a very very unorthodox move unorthodox place rather and we somehow stay in front obviously we had to go off right there because otherwise there would have been contact and overall we didn't really gain any time and we didn't really lose any time so thankfully not even a warning here but 
uh, yet again we are under pressure from Bottas getting the bollard yet again just like in quali and this time around we are still eight tens behind Bottas obviously we're gonna get a very good stream off of him but Russell just has so much overspeed on us in that Mercedes engine obviously we are running the Ferrari engine in Scuderia Supari because of obvious reasons and maybe it will change for season 2 maybe it won't who knows we'll have to check it out next season and of course it's going to be in the next year as well and while i'm talking about that we have a very very bad exit out of the turn and russell goes through we have a bit of wheel spin and russell just goes through and there's nothing i can do about it we just have to stay behind him for as long as possible now so that he doesn't just disappear in front and ruin our you know drs train that we have behind valtteri over here so skipping to lap 10 now and we are still behind Russell and Bottas is doing an amazing job of just keeping Russell behind and they're going side by side to the first few corners here and we have a chance of actually overtaking Bottas now and just following Russell through him because and Bottas has a massive tank slapper we have to go slightly off track our controller is glitching out you can see it and down the inside of Bottas, we are still in one second window off of Russell, so we will get DRS over here, spamming a lot of ERS just to stay in front of uh, Valtteri over here, and let's just try and close up the gap if we can to Russell and get DRS yet again. But he goes down the inside and tries to make a move, we have to go lift and let him through as well, like give him a little bit of space at least, and somehow we have kept the position, but because of us going wide we have lost on DRS off of Russell and Bottas is catching up so so much and this is a pit lap as well so for now we keep him at bay let's quickly you know go into the pits this lap itself and let's just see if we can undercut him and come out in front and of course Norris is right behind Bottas as well so we gotta try and get a very very good uh, in lap over here and actually out lap over here because we are taking a gamble of pitting early and I just am hoping like hell we get a decent pit stop no issues in the pit stop please Korea Super League crew and we don't we don't have a single issue right here let's get out of the pits now and just make sure that we get a good out lap and while I'm talking about that we go slightly wide coming out of the pits cold tires especially hards is um you know actually a proper nightmare in this game we are Daruda right in front of us. He's going to give us a good serving of DRS. We are moving left and right to get some heat into those tires. And as I said, we are right behind Darula. So this could help us out with a bit of DRS, uh, you know, train kind of thing here and there. And maybe just, you know, overall staying in front of Bottas and even Norris if we can. We are closing up to Darula quite a bit now. And yeah, pretty decent till now. The outlap has been pretty okay, not too bad. And while I'm talking about that, we have a massive, almost, you know, losing the car completely there. But yeah, massive wheel spin. Let's try and get back closer to the Rola here. And the only good thing is, because Jehan is in front of us, we can just stay behind him and use him as, you know, a DR, for a DRS train. And... Yeah, the only problem is in the third sector, Darola is super slow right now. And that's mainly because of old tires. And while I'm talking about that, we almost hit into the rear diffuser. And oh my god, yet again, goes super, super close. And he is not pitting. His pit lap is 13, uh, lap 13. And we are actually getting held up here. We have a uh, front wing camera as well. And you can see how close we got to that diffuser right here. And my goodness, we need to start using a little bit of ERS to try and get rid of Daruwala. Who would have thought that I would have had to, you know, uh, overtake Daruwala over here. And you can see that Bottas is coming out of the pits now and he overtakes us. That last sector behind Jehan has actually messed up. I was thinking that we might actually be, you know, benefiting behind Jehan. But that actually has, you know, in turn kind of screwed our whole lap up and we are right behind Bottas now using DRS though a bit of ERS as well we gotta try and keep him at bay because of course he has cold tires 
and we need to try and capitalize on that joe is right in front though going into neutral as well again the controller glitching out you can literally see it mfd popping up going down an extra gear without even tapping the you know gear down button but yeah again but us going side by side with us we go slightly wide which uh, allows but us to try and make a switch back but thankfully that place is not the best to make a switch back in so we are still behind joe here we are literally in a alfa romeo sandwich and let's just hope that we don't get any damage right now joe again going extremely slow but this time i try and go for a move i know that he's going to be slow so i lift off a little bit and thankfully he goes into the pits we are released into fresh air let's just try and put in a few good laps in and hopefully just keep bot us out of the one second window and not give him drs lap 17 now norris actually overcuts bot us somehow and is right behind us now so obviously a mclaren they are not even in the same league as us they are literally mclaren mercedes red bull and ferrari are so so far in front so he overtakes us easily literally making quick work but for some reason I go for a move down the inside, no idea why I did that. Out of desperation, I just didn't want to let him through so easily because we are fifth, literally. And in this car, was just mind-boggling. But thankfully, we didn't get any damage. So, you know what? We'll just take it. Thankfully, no damage. Let's just continue and just stick with Norris over here for, let's say, maybe one lap or two. Because that's pretty much, you know, the maximum amount of laughs that we can stick with him and while i'm talking about it we almost glued onto his car and broke our front wing again just super lucky to not lose a part of our car because of simulation damage obviously our race could even be over so let's try and just stick with him and by the lap end of lap 21 actually or the start of lap 21 should i say we are right in front of Alonso. Doris has a four second lead now. We could just stick with him for one lap. And Alonso now absolutely flying in that Alpine. Again, Alpine is also a proper midfield team. So it does have more pace than us. And the fact that we could stay 21 laps in front of Alonso was pretty sick, I'd say. Honestly speaking, just staying in points right now itself is a huge deal for us because this car is nowhere even close to getting points but we just have you know gotten lucky here and there with you know people having some battles both the red bulls losing their front wings and we basically have you know we should have been ninth or battling for ninth or tenth and right now we are battling for seventh which is pretty awesome if you ask me lap 26 now and Bottas is trying to go for a dive down the inside. We have to give him space. I don't know why I did that. But that messes up our exit. And we are going side by side through here. And Schumacher wants a bit of our fight as well. He goes down the inside. And I think it's three wide for a brief moment. And oh my god, we almost touch wheels. I'm going to try and go around the outside. And we actually make the move stick. We are still going side by side with, I think that's Schumacher. And both of them slow down slightly. And here's a replay of what exactly happened. You can see that we don't have a side bit of our front wing and going three wide into this new left-hander. And oh my god, what a camera angle this is. We can see that our car is completely battered up. We have a lot of uh, side pod damage, which actually doesn't really show up on... Uh, in the game in the MFT thankfully and we even have a slight bit of chip damage on the front wing but if you saw in the uh, background they started fighting each other but us and Schumacher w went side by side through the last uh, sector so that's going to give us a slight bit of advantage and we're going to try and keep it in front and while I'm talking about that we skipped to lap 29 now final lap Schumacher and Sonata have overtaken Batas you can see that our tie wear is completely gone Schumacher has a bit of DRS going side by side now and with the help of DRS Schumacher is probably going to overtake us over here we go down the inside over here no we have to actually stay behind him he covers the inside I tried to go for a dive down the inside but unfortunately it does not work but we still have this one right hander where we can dive it down the inside but we actually touch the curb and go a little wide and this lets Sunoda try to go for a move but thankfully we just keep it in front you can see 70% tire wear I was just hoping for no punctures right now 
and Sonora is still right behind us. It's gonna be down to the wire. The last turn, we lost seventh, but finally we finished in eighth. Which honestly is pretty damn amazing because I didn't expect us to finish eighth in the championship. Uh, like, I mean, eighth in this race. And now let's talk about what happened to the WDC. Leckler winning the world's drivers championship what a season this has been only three points between him and verstappen verstappen having a lot of issues mainly because of his own teammate unlike what happened in real life in our alternate universe it's a ferrari 1-2 who would have thought it's a ferrari 1-2 in abu dhabi leckler is the world's driver championship and we have to wait a little bit longer to see if Red Bull actually scored points or did they just miss out on points and give Ferrari the miracle that they were looking for. And honestly speaking, even Mercedes as well as McLaren did pretty decent. I didn't really see what the constructors were looking like before you know Abu Dhabi for both of them. I knew that it was super close between Ferrari and Red Bull. Obviously, they being the titans of our universe as well. So, let's see what happens with the other people as well. We did get points. We did score more than uh, Alpha Tori at least. And of course, Haas also, the Schumacher, did get more points than us. So, it might get close between us as well. But I think we should have sixth in the bag in constructors for ourselves as well. So, let's quickly just see what has happened in our you know this alternate universe of ours Saints first Leclerc second and Perez only comes 11th so I think this just means that Ferrari have won the world constructors championship going into standings now Leclerc obviously winning it we saw it as well 15 points between them Perez third and Ferrari's I think has won it because of Carlos Sainz win over here yup they do Oh my god, only 5 points between them. And McLaren versus um, Mercedes is not even close. But yeah, we ended up 11th overall, which is pretty decent. 6th in the WCC as well. So not too bad, I'd say. Only 9 points away from Haas, though. We need a lot of things still to, you know, be a proper midfield runner. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Happy New Year once again. And if you guys are hyped for season 2, of course, it'll be out in the next year, in 2023. I just hope you guys enjoy it with all the mods that I've added. And that's it for season 1. I'll see you guys in 2023 with season 2 of Scootia Sapari, my team career mode.